guys, welcome back to the channel. And if you've noticed where we are, we are at the airport. It is departure day or departure night, and we are getting ready to travel. We're on a new adventure. We've got a long journey ahead of us, but I'm going to share with you airline travel when traveling with your dog. So let me show you all the things. Before we go in to check in Lambo, I'm just taking him for another walk. We took him for a walk before we came to the airport and now, huh, this mask, and now I'm just taking him for another walk, making sure that he empties his bladder. If he needs to go number two, he can go number two and just make sure that he's all set. I also administered two drops of rescue remedy and I also put two drops in his water bowl to keep his anxiety down during any stressful moments during travel. So before checking in your dog and putting them in their crate for travel, you wanna make sure to take them for a nice long walk. You don't wanna exercise them too much because you don't want them drinking too much water. So a good, long, soft paced walk is great. You also want to make sure that you time out the last time that they eat and make sure that they have enough hours from their last meal to digest and poop before you get them on the flight. Okay, so once you go to check your dog in, you can keep them with you and you'll go to the check-in counter to check in your bags and check in your dog. They're going to weigh your dog and they're going to weigh your dog in their crate. They may also take the measurements of the crate as well and they'll put the paperwork that needs to be on the crate. They'll stick it all on. If you have a pet agent, they'll do it for you. And then you're going to have to pay a fee for your dog to be in excess baggage on the flight. So you'll pay that fee and then you're pretty much good to go. Oh, I forgot to mention, you'll also, before paying the fee, have to show all your dog's paperwork. So this is going to include export license, import license, your pet passport with all your vaccinations, rabies, if you're going to Europe, the original titer test, and their veterinary health certificate. So you have to show all of that and if you're using a pet agent, they'll have it for you and they'll take care of it for you. And then after that's all taken care of, you have to go to the x-ray machine. So ask to put the crate through the x-ray without your dog in it and they'll put that through the machine and then they'll bring the crate back around and then you'll have to put your dog in there. They'll close the door. So give your dog a nice big hug, tell them everything's gonna be just okay and you'll see them soon and then you're going to have the staff or they might have you do it zip tie the door at that point your dog is pretty much ready to go so off they go off they go unless they can stay with you in cabin I tried to get Lambo in cabin with us but he was just a little bit too tall we did have a soft carrier just in case the airline would allow it because the plane was super empty but they didn't have time to check and it was just a big hassle so it didn't happen and so now we've made it through the first flight and we have our layover so Lambo is in another area of the airport waiting and I just can't wait to see him and I wish I could go over there right now and just be with him that's why I wish I could have brought him in the soft carrier so I could have him with us right now so what happens once you arrive once you arrive you go through the airport like you normally would you pick up your bags and then you pick up your pets so you would go to get your dog after you get your bags and you have to show all your paperwork so all that paperwork that I mentioned make sure that you have it on hand in a folder with you and you're gonna have to show all that paperwork they might not care about the export license but they'll definitely need the import license the pet passport their microchip certificate their rabies titer test the veterinary health certificate so make sure you have all that paperwork you're gonna have to show it to them and then you'll go to customs and pay a fee.
ended. Everything went well. Picking up Lambo was easy. I just went through customs and everything. And then I went to Excess Baggage and he was already there waiting for me. And I had all my documents ready and that's that. <laughs> Here we are. Lambo, good boy! You did it! That was such a big long journey for a little guy. <laughs>